So let's say if we have a 2 by 2 square matrix. So matrix A has the elements 7, 2, 17, and 5. What is the inverse of matrix A? Here's the formula that you need. It's 1 over AD minus BC times the matrix with the following elements. D, negative B, negative C, and A. Now, matrix A contains the elements A, B, C, D in that order. So using that, go ahead and find the inverse of matrix A. So if we match up the letters, we can see that A is 7. So let's replace A with 7. D is equal to 5. B is 2. And C is 17. Now D is still 5. Negative B, that's going to be negative 2. Negative C is negative 17, and A is 7. 7 times 5 is 35. 2 times 17 is 34. And then 35 minus 34 is 1. So this whole thing is 1 over 1. So the inverse of matrix A is simply 5, negative 2, negative 17, and 17. So that's a quick and simple way to determine the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. Now how can we confirm that this is indeed the inverse? So here's what you can do. If you take 5 and multiply it by its reciprocal, 1 over 5, that will give you 1. Now, if you take matrix A and multiply it by its inverse, it will give you the identity matrix. And we're dealing with a 2 by 2 square matrix, so we'll call it I2. So the multiplicative identity matrix looks like this. It's 1, 0, 0, 1. So the main diagonal contains 1's. So if we multiply A by the inverse of A, our answer should look like that. If we get that, then that tells us that this is indeed the multiplicative inverse of A. So let's go ahead and multiply matrix A with the inverse of matrix A. And let's see what we get. So we need to multiply the elements in row 1 by the elements in column 1 and add their products. And we're going to place that answer in the first row, first column. So it's going to be 7 times 5 plus 2 times negative 17. And then row 1 times column 2. So that's going to be 7 times negative 2 plus 2 times 7. And then it's going to be row 2 times column 1. So that's 17 times 5 and 5 times negative 17. And then finally, row 2 times column 2. So that's going to be 17 times negative 2 plus 5 times 7. So now let's simplify. 7 times 5 is 35. 2 times negative 17, that's negative 34. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. 2 times 7 is 14. 17 times 5 is 85. And 5 times negative 17 is negative 85. 
and here we're going to have negative 34 plus 35. So these two, they completely cancel. 35 minus 34 is 1. Negative 14 plus 14, that's 0. 85 minus 85 is 0, and this is 1 as well. So we do get the multiplicative identity matrix, which means that the inverse that we had, a negative 1, that was indeed the inverse of matrix A. Now it's your turn. So let's say if we have matrix B, and it's still a 2 by 2 matrix, let's say it's 8, 6, 5, and 4. Determine the inverse of matrix B, and then show that those two are definitely inverses of each other. So first, we need to realize that A is equal to 8, B is equal to 6, C is 5, D is 4. Now let's write the formula. So the inverse of matrix B is going to be 1 over AD minus BC. And then we're going to have the elements D, negative B, negative C, and A. So in this example, A is 8, D is 4. B is 6, C is 5. So D, we said, is 4. Negative B is negative 6. Negative C is negative 5. And A is 8. Now, 8 times 4 is 32. And 6 times 5 is 30. And 32 minus 30 is 2. So we have 1 half of 4, negative 6, negative 5, and 8. So now we need to distribute the 1 half. Half of 4 is 2. Half of negative 6 is negative 3. And then we're going to have negative 5 over 2, and half of 8 is 4. So that's the inverse of b, which I'm going to rewrite it at the top. So the inverse of matrix b is 2, negative 3, negative 5 over 2, and 4. Now, go ahead and confirm that b times the inverse of b is going to equal to the multiplicative identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. Go ahead and show that. So let's multiply the two matrices. So row 1 times column 1. Let's write it out. So it's going to be 8 times 2 plus 6 times negative 5 over 2. Next we have row 1 times column 2. And then that's going to be 8 times negative 3 plus 6 times 4. And then it's going to be row 2 times column 1. So that's 5 times 2 plus 4 times negative 5 over 2. And then row 2 times column 2. So it's going to be 5 times negative 3 plus 4 times 4. Now, 8 times 2 is 16. What's 6 times negative 5 over 2? 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. 6 times 4 is 24. 5 times 2 is 10. 4 divided by 2 is 2 times negative 5. That's negative 10. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. 4 times 4 is 16. Now, 16 minus 15 is 1. Negative 24 plus 24 is 0. 10 minus 10 is 0. And negative 15 plus 16 is 1. So as you can see, we do get the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1.